Although no one has ever dug that far below the Earth's surface, we divide Earth into three main layers. A thin layer of rock called crust, a very hot layer of solid and molten rock called the mantle, and the innermost layer called the core. Landforms are irregularities in the terrain found within Earth's crust. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some examples of landforms are hills, valleys, coasts, mountains, lakes, plains, rivers, volcanoes, glaciers, and oceans. Pressure, water, and or wind are some forces that shape the earth. Hills are relatively tall landforms that are smaller than mountains and have rounded tops. Valleys are low landforms found between mountains. They can be either wide or thin. Coasts are flat landforms with sandy beaches that separate land from water. Mountains are the highest landforms. Some are rounded while others are pointed or rocky. Lakes are landforms filled with accumulated water from precipitations, rivers, and streams. Plains are low, flat, and wide landforms. Rivers are natural streams of water that pass through different areas giving shape to the land. Volcanoes are protuberances that result from the building up of hot magma beneath the Earth's crust. Some volcanoes can spew lava during volcanic eruptions. Glaciers are enormous blocks of moving ice formed in cold areas of the world. Oceans are the salt water covering that encompasses three quarters of the Earth's surface. Some forces give shape to the land, leading to both slow and fast changes. Weathering causes slow changes to objects found on Earth's surface. Weathering takes place when rocks wear down and are broken into smaller pieces. Water, wind, ice, or plant roots can all cause weathering. It takes thousands of years for weathering to turn rocks into sand and soil. Erosion is another major cause for the wear of objects on Earth's surface. Wind, water, or gravity slowly move objects about Earth's surface, gradually changing the landscape. There are also fast changes that may occur under the Earth's surface, such as earthquakes. Earthquakes occur when the crust moves in a sudden and abrupt way. During earthquakes, land trembles and shakes violently, causing many damages to buildings and some flora. Sometimes, after an earthquake, comes a tsunami, which is a giant wall of water that covers the coasts and its surroundings. Another fast change that may occur over the surface of the Earth are volcanic eruptions, which may produce pyroclastic clouds and cover the Earth with volcanic material that becomes new rocks. Long and large precipitations may fill dry parts of the land creating lakes or overflowing rivers, which leads to flooding. Humans must be prepared at all times due to the sudden and violent nature of these abrupt changes. Precautions must be taken and preparations must be made in order to cover all eventualities with regards to these natural disasters.